so glad to be back once again new tutorial um and i'm pretty excited about this one um so most of you guys know if you follow me over on instagram that we just completely made over laundry room from top to bottom um we bought our house brand new and the laundry room was plain we didn't have the builder add on any extras um so a couple weekends ago we tackled that project and now i want to add a little bit more to it um with things that i've made myself so today we are actually going to be creating this little box um, with this little opening where the lid comes on and off and we're going to use this to conceal a hard dryer sheet. Um, if you're like me, I don't like stuff being just out in the open. I like it to put a, be put away looking nice and clean and neat, especially in a brand new laundry room. So we're going to be building that today. I'm going to walk you guys through that entire process from beginning to end and we'll show the finished product in the laundry room. But with this project, you could use the instructions to really create anything. Um, we're gonna build a box and the possibilities are endless with that. So with that being said, I'm gonna talk about the material that I'm gonna use today. And um, the box is actually gonna look slightly different than this one, um, which I'll talk about in that part of the tutorial. Okay, I am using this MDF material. It's 1 8 inch thick and you can see that I've obviously painted this black. Um, I want the box to be black to kind of match the theme of the laundry room. So I went ahead and painted this. I will put a picture up right down here um, of the paint that I use, but it is the Bare Ultra line from Home Depot. Uh, primer in it already makes it go on really nice and smooth. Um, and so that way, depending on the material that um, you're using or the color paint that you use, nothing's gonna show through. Um, so for this, I only did one coat. You can use, I used a foam brush for this because that was all that I had on me um, when I painted this, but a paint roller, a regular paintbrush will be just fine. Um, and again, I only did one coat on this piece. So now that this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and mask this and we're gonna go create our box. All right, so once you have your measurements and are ready to create your box, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna Google box generator if you don't already use something like this. Um, it will be typically the first one that pops up. So it is this maker case one. When you click on that, you're going to see that they do actually have a couple different styles of boxes you can make. So I encourage you to go play around with this. It's really fun. Um, but for this project today, we are going to use a basic box. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in my measurements and I'm going to do seven and a half, two and a half, and four and a half. Now this is actually needs to be my inside dimensions. And the reason for that is because that's how I measure the box. So if you do it by outside dimensions, it's actually going to make the box too small. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, as far as material thickness goes, again, I am using the one eighth inch medium or one eighth inch draft board. Um, if you're using proof grade materials, that would be the medium proof grade um, draft board. So if you need to change it, you can, or you can enter in a custom thickness. Um, for this box, it is gonna be closed. If you click open, it'll just take that off. And actually, if you guys do this, you can move the box around and see it. So if you're creating something custom, it's easy to work with. Um, so for this, I am gonna use finger joints. And the reason for this is because I need this lid to come on and off. Um, and when you're putting it together, it actually makes it a lot easier because it's just gonna snap in place. Um, even if you're using glue. So once you've done that, um, we're gonna come down over on this side and we're gonna go download box plans. So this is gonna pop up, it's gonna label each one for you of where, you know, what position it is when you're creating the box. I don't need that, it's pretty easy to figure out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit disabled and then download SVG. Um, once I've done that, I'm gonna drag this over into Adobe Illustrator because that's the program I'm going to be using and it'll open up just like that. Um, so for this, because I need a spot for the dryer sheets to come out of, I'm actually gonna put a little ellipse um, just right in here. And let's ungroup all of these really quick. And then I can go ahead and just select both of those and we will align these to make sure it's centered. And then I'm gonna drag this back into place. 
And then I'm actually going to place a design on the front of this just because it is going on our laundry room shelf. So I want it to look nice and not super plain. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go search for a design that I already know I have, but you can put whatever you want on this. Um, this isn't actually just a design I snagged off of Etsy a super long time ago. So I'm going to paste this in here and resize it a little bit so it fits. I'm going to change the color so when I go into um, to Glowforge, I can tell the difference and tell it to engrave um, rather than cut. And then again, I'm going to select both of those and just center this so I can make sure that it's nice and perfect for when we go to cut it out. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this as an SVG, and then we'll go ahead and jump over into the Glowforge dashboard to upload this. So I've uploaded this into the Glowforge dashboard, um, rearranged it. I'm just going to adjust my settings. So um, for the material that I use, it is very similar, almost identical to a draft board. Um, so I have my settings for that. As far as the design goes, I already have my settings saved, but I am... Um, Using these settings, so speed is set to 1,000, lines per inch is 195, and my focus height is 0.125, and then I just leave it on the proof grade settings for the cut um, for the rest of it. So let's go ahead and do this. 